Surprise! I guess I didn't have to keep going looking for them. Mom was dumb enough to bring her up. And she got caught. So, that saves me a lot of hassle. Yeah, you were too dumb. You had them hidden. I'm surprised they never bring them up to the barn. Usually they're out there, they hide them, they keep them hidden. He ain't happy about being caught. So, I guess, like I said, that's perfect for me. I don't have to go hunt again for it or find it at the far end of the pasture and try to get it up here. Well, if you quit pulling, you wouldn't have a problem. Yeah, you ain't going with mom. You're going to stay here now. Nobody else came in yet. Well, I shouldn't say that. One other one there. She came in. Mother came in. That one never went out. So. You know, I got to get this, get this one situated somewhere and get back on to the rest of my night. Yeah, I got tied off here for the night, but... This calf has been out there more than just today. I mean, he's too frisky, but I've already found two ticks on it. Now one right there, one on its chest. Let me check good. Just ticks on a calves or cows ain't any better than you getting a tick on you. Right there's another one. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. Focus. That's the third tick I found on that calf. This thing won't focus. I think this cow's had this calf hidden for a couple days. I think this this calf's got to be two, three days old. It's a pancake now. Yeah, keep checking this calf. That ain't good. I hope they'll actually get Lyme disease. But it's, uh, it'll cause them issues just like, like everybody else. So people don't understand or realize that, uh, Cows suffer from a lot, lot of the diseases that people do. Right there's another one. Number four. So we've been having a lot of rain here the last two or three days. And, uh, I see she probably had it hidden. I didn't walk the pasture with them because I didn't want to get wet and I didn't see any signs. I always seen her standing around with the other ones. And usually when they, uh, go to calf, they go off by themselves or hide somewhere. But I say there ain't much places to hide out there. I have to look at that closer in the morning. I don't think them were ticks. <laughs> Number five. Oh, come on, hold still. Number five. Pop.
same as cats. I always find them around their head, under their, along their necks. That's all I found on her right now. Whoop. Yeah, you're all right now. I just have to give her a closer look in the morning and see if I can find any on her anymore. But like I say, I guess I didn't see it out there. It's more than a day old. So, on to the next job. You know, right now, today, I'm just uh, getting the oil changed in this thing. I think... Uh, I looked at the oil here probably about, or the hours here a couple of weeks ago, or a week ago or so, and it was getting close to being time. Last time I checked the oil, it was getting down on the stick, so I just decided, well, might as well just change it now instead of adding some to it. And, uh, and I'm going to hose this thing off. Probably should have done that first, but it doesn't really make a difference. Wipe things off. But, uh, yeah. let's go get my jug of oil. One jug, anyhow. One to three, four. I believe this takes close to two gallon of oil, if I remember right. One jug ain't gonna be enough, that's for sure. And just dump it all over, make a mess, what's the difference? About that, I did it once without spilling a drop. Put at least half this jug in. I know it damn well it takes at least six quarts. I think it takes more, but remember, right, it seems funny that this small engine would take as much as, like, the International does. I'm actually using a rag to wipe off the dipstick instead of wiping it on my pants. It's in the running range, but the low end of the range. <sighs> it's one thing about this. This is the only piece of equipment I suppose I could run it in this. At least this time of year, I run 10W30 in this. That's what they recommend in these skid steers. Well, everything else around here, I run 1540. The John Deere skid steer, I run 1540. The three tractors, 1540. And, like I say, warmer temperatures probably wouldn't be a problem in this. Winter time, it's probably better to run a 1030. But that's what New Holland recommends because this... What they did back in the day, and I don't know if they still do it or not, the hydraulics in this is actually 10W30. And their theory at the time was running the same oils, then you wouldn't have to have so much in stock. You, know, you wouldn't have to have hydraulic oil, motor oil. So I think 1030 runs better in the hydraulics. So they just recommend that in the engine too.
right at the top. So that's more than enough. This thing's got a small filter on it, so even by the time I run it, it's still going to be in range and have to be completely full. So I'm going to dump the rest of this in the hydraulics. Because I know that's down some, because this thing does have a leak. And this is the most miserable thing to put hydraulic oil in in the winter time because of oil being cold. You have a screen in there. And I don't know if this is going to be enough, but I'm going to empty this jug in there. Probably shouldn't be putting Rotella oil in the hydraulics. Probably use any cheap oil, Travelers, or some other oil in there. And actually, let me see here. Yeah, we should be fine. Actually, you're supposed to check your hydraulics with the booms down. Right now, the level is low because the booms are up. how you check the oil level when the booms are down the oil level should be to that line but right now the oil levels down there so they got some space there and probably by the time I get the booms down it will be up near that mark anyhow so I'm going to next be get the power washer out here get all that cleaned off power wash some of this other crap off it and then I probably should grease it too probably should pull the air filter again it's been I mean, it hasn't been all that long since I cleaned it but with all the hay seed and stuff I chop around dust blowing chopping bedding it's probably getting gummed up again in there and when was the last time I changed the hydraulic filter? It didn't write it on there. I'm assuming that should be changed too, but I don't have that filter. I do. I don't think I really need to change the fuel filters. This has got two of them on there. One, this is basically just a pre filter for the fuel pump. And I don't think there's more than 100 hours on the, these filters. I think I changed all this last fall. I had this fuel pump go out. And I changed that then. So I don't think that really needs to be... Them filters need to be changed. Because it's got that one there. And then this one acts more like... It's a filter, but it's more like a, a water block. Because it's got a drain on You can drain stuff out of it. But... If you're draining stuff, getting stuff out of there that you got to drain out, it's probably time to change the filter anyhow. And the radiator probably needs cleaned out. They got some hay seed and stuff in there. Oh. Yeah, it's got bolts missing and stuff too. It's supposed to be a lever. Oh, this side has it. The other side didn't have bolts missing. You flip them out and then you can get down in there to clean out your radiator. Yeah, let me see. You get that stuff in there. Like I say, I got some quick maintenance to do on this. Yeah, I'll video any, any of um, power washing or not. That's not really exciting stuff. But I definitely got to clean that motor off. Yeah, it's clean enough as far as I'm concerned. Be a good share of the dirt and grease off of it. Cleaned out, cleaned out the radiator, pretty much best it's going to get. That hay gets in there and you can never get it out, really. I suppose I should check the radiator. It's up there. So yeah, I guess this is all good to go. Like I, said, I got started up here now. Lower the booms down to grease it. 
and this should be, like I say, good to go. Got to do something different with these tires. Since that skid steer's jacked for a while, it's going to be sitting. I'm going to take take two of these tires off it. Ain't much I can do right now to get this under. Actually. I got to take the two from that side. This tires are directional. I put take these two and put them on this side. Yeah, they'd be facing the wrong way. But if you can't tell, my axle's shot. I think both axles are shot. I knew they were bad, and I ran them longer than I should have. But do what you got to do. On to the next project. Yeah, I got this all finished up. Got it greased up and they say rinsed out the radiator and stuff, change oil in it. So it's good to run here for now. And one nothing else much interesting going on today. It's still greasy out there in spots, so can't do much of anything else out there. Tomorrow I'm going to find something else different to do, but the sun's already down. Oh. So that's it for today, I guess. The only thing exciting going on today. So I guess I'll leave it here. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch up to you later.